Hello everybody. Welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. I know in the previous episode, uh, because I was editing it, I missed a couple of um, a couple of things in it. I had a chance to uh, re-examine some of the pictures that that the boy had drawn, um, which I did not get a chance to do, and I missed at least one spot hidden thing in the uh, uh, mansion because, well, there was a spot hidden that I was supposed to find when I'm chasing the mysterious dude down the tunnel. Anyway, we're going to continue. We're in Chapter 4, uh, Tunnels Under the Hawkins Mansion. Please forgive me. I am currently getting over a, uh, a cold, a head cold. Um, so if you hear me, like, sniffling a little bit or coughing, that's why. Uh, but anyway, Chapter 4. Tunnels under the Hawkins Mansion. Inside the Hawkins Mansion, the scene of the fire revealed its secrets. Pierce and Officer Bradley, now on the trail of a survivor, had undertaken to search the place, looking for proof. When a hooded man leaped into Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal a painting, Detective and Police Officer set off after him. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discovered a secret passage. Pierce and Bradley enter the tunnel under the mansion. Let's prepare to enter madness. The secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah, and he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? It's more than just a tunnel. Look, someone's been here recently. Oh, yeah, they have. Three seats. Uh oh, this is not creepy at all. Okay, there's a door. Okay, so everything is centered around this area. Okay. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Hmm. Oh, hello, Box. I don't know if I trust this. Did Charles Hawkins hide something in this chest? Hmm. What, I can't investigate this weird looking thing here? Oh, that's not creepy at all. That's Cthulhu's face on the Madonna. Oh, gosh. Okay. This a hidden wall? No. Random bench. Oh, 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 oh. What is this? Some sort of seal or something. What is this mask supposed to represent? What's oh, a mask? Oh. Still surprised I can't do anything about the, the weird Cthulhu Mary thing. It's over here. Ooh. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? Uh, did she hear something? Is this anything? Underground chamber. Let's see if we can get into this. This symbol. Oh. What does it mean? Well, 
out of game, I know that this is a, a reference to Cthulhu's face. Yay, I got an occultism progression. Okay, there's a weird book with the mask. Still no... Nothing to say about that. Ah, okay, I have to light a... A disfigured saint. What does it mean? Huh. I get the piece of cloth? Okay. It, I found it, I just didn't take it. Okay. Can we go around here? Don't want to do too much light. Bradley, where are you coming with? Okay, yeah, you are. You're just taking your time. Okay. Man, the same people must have built these docks or built these stairs. They built the docks in town. The way that they're all like loose and disheveled and everything. Okay, I'm gonna keep going down. I know that that's probably the way I'm supposed to go, but I like to go all the way down to Pierce, see. Where you going? I can't keep up with you in this darkness. Are you scared? I want to see how far these steps go. Who's talking about being scared? I'll wait for you by the door. Oh. Put more light on the subject. Okay. There's a second cave. I'm going to go back up here to the door. If we're certain that he went here, we'll find out. Arguably, he went this way, and we know it. Okay, we do have a lot of clues to go through. I just wanted to make sure that I don't have any keys. Okay. Let's go ahead and read up on what we have here. Underground tunnels. I managed to find, or to open the secret door in Charles Hawkins' office. It opens onto steps cut into the stone. They lead to a network of underground caves. The robber can't have gone that way. A table. Three chairs. This strange antechamber hidden in the entrance to the network of caves raises new questions. What kind of organization did Charles Hawkins belong to? Was Sarah Hawkins in danger because she had discovered these tunnels? I must advance further into these caves and find the answers. A heavy gate blocks the passage. I must find another way into the main cave. Okay, so we know that we need to go downstairs. Um, the case. Pierce. Four. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I feel like I might need to put some in strength, psychology... One more in spot hidden. Another one in... Yeah, there we go. Yes. 
this. Okay. Dark water. Do I have places? Okay, let's check here. Hmm. New. Uh, that's the Hawkins Mansion. The Hawkins Mansion was falling into ruin well before the fire that claimed its residence. The building, once luxurious, today lies a witness to the ruin of the Hawkins family. The paintings of Sarah Hawkins are spread throughout the corridors, moist streets away at the books of the imposing library, and the windows are broken and condemned. The drawing room where the fire started revealed it to be more than just a domestic accident. Sarah Hawkins' office bears the signs of an occult practice and a, no doubt, huge creature left its marks on the walls of the corridor that leads to his workshop. As for Charles Hawkins' office, it revealed a passage into a network of underground caves. Tunnels under the Hawkins Mansion. Who would have guessed that the Hawkins Mansion was, a hi was hiding such a big and intricate tunnels underneath? It seemed to be the hideout of a cult of some kind. I can't believe Sarah and Simon lived, un lived above such danger without knowing anything. And boom. There's the symbol. It is drawn on sheets of paper hidden in a safe, in self hidden in a tunnel under the mansion. The symbol was repeated on the paper, its form becoming more distinct with each attempt. I do not know what Charles Hawkins tried to represent with the symbol, but one thing is for sure, it was important in his eyes. So we know that that's locked. We have to go down here now, Bradley. Don't be scared. Last time I was down here, or underwater, or in water, something came after me. Can we not crouch? Aha! Just make a lot of noise, why don't you pierce? My gosh! Charms and stuff. No, thank you. Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, uh. it'll turn to dust. These paintings must be several centuries old. That must be Raelia. Or Rylia, however you say it. Cthulhu's home dimension. I guess we're jumping down. <clears throat> there he goes. There you are again. Well done, Pierce. And it looks like you found our fugitive. This door is securely shut. I'll look for another passage. It's an underground cave. We can advance this side. Yeah, I can see that. You, uh, please excuse me, but given your condition, I'll stick to my idea. Mm. I'm not cut what? out for this kind of acrobatics. 
All right. Look for another entrance. I'll try to catch up with our man. What, I can't? Okay. And there really is no use running. Time has weakened these structures. Uh -huh. Time has definitely weakened things around here. I always wonder who keeps the lights lit in these things, you know, in these kinds of environments. I don't have time to search them all. But at least I acknowledge their presence. Oh. He went that way. I want to go this way again. Oh, this is more of that weird oil. This oil again? What is it used for? Just to get a little lower. What's going on here? Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? What? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Somebody's on that altar. Oh, lovely. Table for sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And then my own face. It can't breathe. What's happening? Uh. No, damn it. I must find a way out of here. Is it? 
Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. Yes, it is, except we didn't get this far. The game opened with a dream scene. Okay, so that gate, okay, that door cannot be opened. Alright. Stay low. Check out this room here. What is is that a fish hook of some kind? It seems to have been used. Oh, it's recently. a dagger. Probably some sort of ritual. There's a book open on this one. Pre-classical Latin? Let's see what it says. What is this awakening they talk about? And this sacred flesh? Let's see what they say. Alright, we have a lot of stuff to go through. Pierce, I have one credit, or one point. I want to put it in... Um, psychology. Uh, there's dark water. Occult, yes. Disappeared tribe. A tribe of men, worshippers of the sea and its benefits, landed on the shores of an island surrounded by dark waters. They were discovered by the creature some call the Devourer of Whales. For years, the creature hunted them down into their dreams, until their weakened minds surrendered. Following the creature's orders, they sunk into the dark waters surrounding the island and never came back. Taken from the Malaeus Bestiarum. Okay. Do I have anything? Oh, wait, no, Pierce has. Oh, sanity, there we go. Mental trauma. I've already done that. I'm apparently stable, still. Okay. Wait. Did it did I take the book? Knowledge. There we go. I did. Okay. An old Bible. Numerous passages have been overwritten or annotated. A uh, strange way to study the Holy Scriptures. That was not... That was not stated. It was just a pre-Latin book. He didn't say pre-Latin Bible. the way I came. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't the way I came. Maybe this is the way I came. Yeah, that was the way I came.
Yep, this is almost identical to my dream. There's something in the water. Can't check these boxes to see what they are. That's weird. And of course, it takes over right as soon as I get there. You who sleeps, accept this dream under your immortal will. Ya Cthulhu Nithsiha, the target. Grant him your flesh and accept his. I. I feel him. You are gifted indeed. I love him. Let him. Through every part of you. Oh, bring me more sacred. We flesh. pray for your return into the kingdom of the earth. It looks like a kind of deep coma. What could this ritual have done to them? Hmm. We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. That's Bradley's voice. What? No, I don't want to light out. Uh, what do I do here? I want to sneak around to where they can't really... <clears throat> Looks like there's more over here. I guess the only thing I have is to approach them. The only option. An intruder! Okay, I'm gonna go grab everything that I already did. Um, Dead? This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? That's new. That wasn't. Previously, they were in a coma. Interesting. We are ready for the ceremony. 
What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. Did I test? I, I don't remember testing this door. Let me see. Oh, I did. Okay. Bradley, get Chris back! Silk. Get back! You asked for it! Oh, I'm lovely. Fred the fish. I was, trying to, I was thinking, I was like, what's the name of that fish again? From SpongeBob that always says, my leg! What? Is that your leg? Oh no, that's one of the cultists. Okay. <laughs> wow, my brain. Um, okay. More cultists. Man, Charles Transform does not care about his cultists. Light. At last. Eh. Whoa, shh. Oh, no. All right, everybody. Well, that's where we're going to end this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, come back for the next one. This is Colin the Conqueror, signing off. <laughs>